On Wednesday, several members of the opposition grill Prime Minister Mark Phillips as the government sought $30.5 billion for the $100,000 one-off cash grant distribution. However, Prime Minister Phillips was not ready for the barrage of inquiries about the distribution process. Questions coming from Honourable Member of Parliament, Fowler Lawrence. Prime Minister state whether out of this $30 billion, any um, amounts will be going to administrative costs, or if this is just for the grant. Response from Prime Minister Mark Phillips. So this figure covers the payment going to the person. 18 years and above, you are right. If I'm 18 years today, the 4th first, uh, the first of January 2025, right, you qualify for the money. In response to a question about whether the $30.5 billion would be adequate to cover everyone who is eligible, the Prime Minister stated that the government would seek more money from the Assembly if necessary. If we finish this 300, this 30 million, right, and we have to come back on the 30th of December for more money, we will come back to this house. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, Senior Minister with Responsibility for Finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, during a sideline interview with the press, provided clarity on the cash grant disbursement exercise. The registration process is a very efficient one. You may have heard that we have developed an app that is very efficient in terms of scanning your ID card and capturing the data. Dr. Singh stated that although persons will not be forced to have their photograph taken, it is necessary for completing the process. We are not, of course, compelling anybody to have their picture taken. You do have the option not to have your picture taken. But if you exercise the option not to have your picture taken, you will not be registered. Following the registration exercise, the grant will be distributed by the checks. According to Dr. Singh, a published schedule will be used to notify Guyanese about registration locations in their respective regions. Antonio, the reporting for the AGP Nightly News.